IVF nowadays is a very common treatment for infertile couples. But many couples have lot of apprehensions about going ahead with these procedures because there are lot of myths surrounding this whole process of IVF. The first and the foremost apprehension which a lot of couples have is the woman is given lot of hormonal injections. So they think that these hormonal injections are going to have some kind of short term or long term kind of side effects. But I would like to clear on this that these injections are very safe and they are given in the strength which is appropriate for the woman's health. So there are no long term or short term side effects of these injections. The second myth is about that IVF pregnancy is very painful and they do have to take a lot of injections. Usually in an IVF pregnancy, the injections that is hormonal injections which are given to support the pregnancy are given only for the initial three months. But after the third month of pregnancy, it is as good as a normal pregnancy. So it is only for the first three months of pregnancy that we have a close monitoring and a bit of hormonal support is given and after the third month, it is as good as a routine pregnancy. The third important myth is that women think bed rest is mandatory in an IVF pregnancy. Bed rest is not mandatory. Immediately after an IVF procedure also, we advise women only to take rest and not bed rest, wherein she can do her bit of own work and go for little walks and keep herself healthy. Even through the IVF pregnancy, they are allowed to perform some antenatal exercises, go for walks and keep themselves physically active but not strain themselves. The other important myth is that with an IVF pregnancy there is always multiples. Multiples in the sense IVF pregnancy always results in twins. But the chance of having twins is only about 20% and the reason being that is in order to increase the chances of pregnancy, multiple embryos, that is a max up to three embryos are transferred. So when we transfer three embryos, there's always a risk of having twins in about 20%, which is actually an acceptable outcome. But if women are very clear that they want to have a single ton baby, then the number of embryos we would want to transfer can be decided. The last and the important myth is about the health of IVF babies compared to normal babies. If you look into the studies, the chances of having chromosomally abnormal or having any anomalies in a normal conceived babies, the risk is about 2% and it is same when conceived with an IVF pregnancy as well. So even IVF conceived babies carry the same risk as normally conceived babies.